Okay, so at camp, Miriam uses a pottery wheel to make three bowls in two hours, while Dwayne makes five bowls in three hours. Question A asks us, who makes bowls faster, Miriam or Dwayne? So I'm going to set up two ratio tables here, one for Miriam and one for Dwayne. So for Miriam, we know that she's making a certain number of bowls for a certain number of hours, right? She has this rate, and it's been established. So we set up our table here. And the idea is that in, in two hours, she can make three bowls. So if I double the number of hours to four, how many bowls will she make? Well, often what students do is they, they add two to the number of hours, and they try to add two to the number of bowls. But I think you see in this problem, based on her rate, right, we know she makes three bowls every two hours. So we don't add two to the number of bowls, we add three. So here we'll have six bowls made over four hours. And then if we do this again, right, we add two more, we have six hours that pass, and that means she'll be making nine bowls in six hours. What about Dwayne? What's happening there? Well, we'll set up the same kind of ratio table, the number of bowls for the number of hours, and then right, just put this table down, and he's making five bowls in three hours. If we double this, we add three here. Number of hours is six now. We don't add three to the number of bowls because it's five bowls per every hour. And so now we have 10 bowls over six hours. And this is nice because now we can compare this to this. The same number of hours have passed for both people. Who makes more? Well, the answer is Dwayne. Right? Dwayne is able to make 10 bowls in 6 hours. Miriam is making 9. And they say at the same pace. So in other words, keep this relationship proportional. Right? They're always making that number of bowls for that number of hours. How long will it take Miriam to make a set of 12 bowls? So we just keep scaling this up. Right? That's the basic idea. So we go up again. and That would be 8, and then 10, and eventually 12. Up by groups of 2 hours. And for bowls, right, we can go up by 3 to 12, by 3 to 15, and by 3 again, right, to 18. So I think she'll make 18 bowls in 12 hours, right? Um, although I think I read the question wrong. It says, how long will it take Miriam to make 12 bowls? Oops, sorry about that. I, I read that wrong. Here is the answer, right? It's eight hours to make 12 bowls. There, it's right there. So we pass that early on. Okay, at the same pace, how long will it take Dwayne to make a set of 12 bowls? This is where things get interesting, I think, because our ratio table is going to not fall exactly on that amount, right? Because if we add this again, right, three more hours pass, right? We have nine, and then the number of bowls will go up by five, and we get 15. So somewhere between six and seven hours, right, C is between, excuse me, six and nine hours, Dwayne will make 12 bowls. So the question is, how do we figure out exactly what our amount it'll be? Well, the, the basic idea in the ratio table, and I, I just want to point this out for a moment, um, is if we're going up, for example, from five to three up to, 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 to 15 to nine, Right, so five bowls for three hours, and that's equal to 15 over nine. It is, right? We basically scaled up the three by three to get nine and multiply the five by three to get 15. So if I was to say to you right away, okay, um, how many bowls will Dwayne make in nine hours? Well, you know how many he makes for three? You could just write an equivalent fraction over here. And you could write it in different ways. You could write, you could reverse everything. Of course, three over five is a different fraction, but it still, in this case, represents hours over bowls instead of bowls over hours. And then you can quickly rewrite it to nine over 15 to figure out how many, right, how many hours it'll take to make how many bowls. So here we can use that idea. I know he makes three, right, in three hours he makes five bowls. The question is, X, how many hours will it take to make 12 bowls? So this allows us to just solve for x, and we've got the answer. To solve this, I would multiply both sides by 12, right? These cancel out, and 12 over here to balance my equation, and I get 12 times 3 fifths. So what's that? Well, 12 times 3 is 36, and 36 divided by 5 is a fraction, some fraction between 6 and 9. 5 goes into 36 7 times, 
and there's a fifth left over. So it's about 7.2 hours right, to make a set of 12 bowls. So this idea of setting up a proportion or, or, or equivalent fraction is based on the same concepts of the ratio table. They're just different ways of visualizing the same proportional idea. All right, I hope this helped.